All right, hello there, folks. This is Tim with a Kingdom Come Deliverance stream. Now, I uh, uploaded a YouTube video on this uh, approximately two years ago, just slightly over two years ago. Um, I backed this when it was in the alpha stages, and when they released alpha uh, version 0 0.1, I tried it out and um, was kind of quite impressed with it for an alpha, uh, but I knew it had a good couple of years of development that it was still going to need before um, I was probably going to start playing it. This isn't a game that I'm interested in playing kind of every week or, or anything like that. It's, it's, it's just something that I wanted to kind of update. Uh, you know, maybe I can get some more people um, to back it, obviously, because there is a beta that you can kind of buy your way into. Um, it looks like it's a really cool game, that's why I obviously backed it two years ago, and um, I just want to basically let people know about it. It's a uh, an interesting uh, piece, of, uh, piece of software. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play their beta access uh, trailer, and uh, that should be kind of interesting. Achieved with CryEngine. In a land without a ruler, chaos and lawlessness will soon take over. It happened in my country too, when King Wenceslas was abducted. of trouble, people show what they're really made of. Who's a shepherd and who a sheep? Who stands up to evil and who flees? I'm no sheep. That's the fear leaving you. <coughs> Let it go. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so, um, as you can see here, I'm on the Kingdom Come Deliverance website. Uh, their website address is kingdomcomerpg.com, uh, and basically you can get into the beta on the uh, website. So um, I'm going to give you some information on the um, the game that's readily available that you can read on the website. Um, it's based on an actual location. Um, it's based in 1403 and it's based in Bohemia, which is uh, in the heart of Europe. And um, they've actually, um, over the last couple of years, I've not followed development extremely closely, but um, I've kind of kept in touch. And every so often they'll post a picture of uh, something that they've taken a um, c c kind of a picture of or that they've found historic reference for and then how they've put it into their game and um, it really really does look like a spectacular game that they are being uh, very very faithful to um, how things really were and um, I think it's just going to be a fantastic little uh, a diversion from um, pretty much any other type of game that I ever play. Uh, this is one that for some reason I'm just really really excited about. Okay, so um, you are the son of a blacksmith uh, who has survived the wrath of the mercenary army that, mercil that mercilessly destroyed your home and murdered your family. With your life turned upside down, you swear to avenge your, your uh, uh, family. 
So basically, um, you're looking to redeem yourself in whatever way. Now the AI, from what I've seen of this, the videos and things that I've seen over the last couple of years uh, that I haven't really um, had it installed at all, they have made massive, massive steps in um, AI. Very similar actually to how a lot of the AI uh, um, NPCs are supposed to work in, in uh, Star Citizen. They basically have a living, breathing world out there that, um, you know, it, it, from what I've seen, it's, it's very, very believable. Uh, the combat is extremely raw and brutal. Um, you can get a few indications here where basically you can see this fist fighting, sword fighting, um, various kind of weapons, medieval weapons, uh, bows and things like that. Um, and you can do it all in first person, obviously, which is quite cool as well. Uh, they used CryEngine, obviously the same starting, um, starting engine as uh, Star Citizen as well, which is quite cool. And uh, it has a day-night cycle. Alpha version 0.1 actually looked beautiful and had the day-night cycle and everything like that anyway. But I'm really excited to get in there and see what, they, what they've actually advanced um, and how cool things look. Um, you have freedom of choice. Uh, like I said, you're the blacksmith's son and um, essentially if I want to spend this stream kind of running around doing nothing, just basically looking at textures and things like that, that might be what I do. Um, but I don't really know. I have not fired this game up in two years and basically what I found with alpha version 0.1 is basically I was kind of running around being being very impressed by the visuals, by the actual uh, the ideas that these developers had, um, but at the same time I was kind of laughing at the alpha issues that it had, like, you know, people sitting on chairs when there was no chair there, and the fact that I could kind of walk up the side of a building onto a roof, and, you know, various things like that, that, um, you know, it, it just made me think, okay, well, I've backed the game, I own the game, I'm going to come back in a year or two, and this is two years later. So, here I am. Now, uh, I did start the game earlier just to set up my resolution. By default, it launched in a uh, like a little window. So I just wanted to correct that before I started streaming. Everything else looked looked like it was going to work fine, so I didn't alter anything else. Achieved with CryEngine. There is an intro. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. Is that an ass? Yes, it is an ass. His father. <laughs> he neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Eye okay, so did not impress the Imperial nobility either. His difficulties melted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. It looks like I could skip it now. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate. I'm assuming it's nearly finished anyway. Disorder, to gain greater power for himself. 
He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Before it all began, we lived a peaceful life. My father was a blacksmith, and I would one day take over his trade. Beautiful intro. The town where we lived was where the king's silver was mined. And that was exactly what Sigismund was after. That, and to show what would happen to anyone who dared to oppose him. That day I lost everything. Family. Home. Time has come to take it all back. Excellent. Hello to Andre. Welcome to the stream today. It's interesting that you backed it, uh, back this game as well. All right, some detail pop in here. Looks like it's still populating. So this here, this looks like this actually might be a live menu because you saw two people kind of pop in down there and then walk in their house. Interesting. Well, it looks like all the detail has actually popped in now. Uh, so this is beta access. This is actually on Steam right now. I think you might be able to buy it directly on Steam, or you can come t uh, go to uh, Kingdom Crum uh, RPG uh, dot com. I think it was. So let's uh, show you the settings quickly. Game settings, mouse sensitivity settings. There. Uh, import device. Not really sure what that means. <laughs> Uh, graphics settings, resolution. This is what I had to change earlier. I actually want to show the frame rate though. Uh, yes. Okay, so frame rate is up here right now. Um, details are on very high, which is the maximum. Advanced graphics, you can see I have everything on very high. Uh, object distance is about halfway. Uh, the, the LOD distance, what an, L an LOD is, is that a castle like this, when I first loaded this, you could see it was a simplified model and uh, less detailed textures. As you get closer, then the level of detail, which is what LOD stands for, the model gets more complex and the textures will obviously get to be richer textures as well. That's, that's what, uh, what that is. So basically, you'll have good looking things real close to you and then further away there'll be a little bit less quality, but usually it doesn't matter. Uh, vegetation distance, it's the same thing. It's how far you have trees, essentially. Uh, motion blur. Hmm. You have object, off, and camera. I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to leave it at kind of as they intend it, and uh, all of these settings as, as they've set them. Um, let's go to help and actually have a look at the controls. Standard uh, WSAD, caps lock is run, uh, C crouch, okay, you know what, I actually might take a screenshot of this and put it on my right hand screen. Okay. Oh, unfortunately I don't have my screenshot application open. Never mind. So, less, less, left shift is sprint. I wonder what the difference is between left shift and catch lock. You can stay in run, essentially, I guess. Uh, jump and climb is space. That's pretty standard for a uh, first person shooter type game. Mount and call horse is X. Stash and shoot bow. Stab is the right mouse button. Okay, so Q is block. 
F is kick and punch. Wow. So primary weapon, secondary weapon, okay. Probably going to be using my primary weapon a lot. Alright. Okay. How do I get out of this screen? Uh, escape? Okay. New game. Oh, okay. Choose your past. This wasn't in here, obviously, two years ago. Uh, Abida begins midway through the actual game. Okay. In the preceding part, your character would have evolved in a certain manner, depending on your playing style. From the options, choose the one corresponding to how you would have played the game so far, and we shall try to adjust Henry accordingly. Okay. So, you can see a description down here at the bottom. Jack of all trades says, Talk is good, but sometimes... A sword talks louder than words. A diplomat is a silver tongue and stealth are the preferred way of dealing with the hostile world. And uh, squire is strong arm and sharp sword are the best means of solving any problem. I do tend to play in this way. I would, I would rather kind of sneak past someone than have confrontation in games like this. So if I'm going to play this the way that, again, they are intending, then I'm going to go with Diplomat. After the kidnapping of the king, chaos and turmoil ruled the land, and our province was no exception. We were all run by bandits and marauders, and the roads... I love these cutscenes, these intros. The most terrible massacre happened at the stud farm in Neuhof, which was raided and torched and all the horses slaughtered. My liege lord sent his men, led by Sir Robert of Tolmberg, to track down the killers and to bring them to justice. I rode with them, but the investigation has been slow and difficult. Whenever I came across some trace of the bandits, someone erased it in the cruelest way imaginable. Hmm. In the end, though, I got one step ahead of the enemy. I found out one of the bandits was still alive and hiding near Tomberg. Before I set out to track him down, I had to report to Sir Robert. Cool. Uh, Desmond, the game isn't on Steam. It might not be for sale on Steam. But I've downloaded and installed it through Steam because when you purchase the beta, you get a Steam key. So um, they are managing updates and downloads through Steam. Gosh, this looks beautiful. Actually, looks looks prettier than I remember. Keep an eye on the frame rate over the top left as well. That'll give you an indication of uh, how it performs on my system. Faster! In a real fight, you'd be dead already. Sir. Ah, Henry. Carry on. Well, lad, have you made any progress with the investigation? Yes, sir. I think I have at last. So you found someone who isn't gutted and nailed to a wall? It wasn't easy, sir, but I believe I have. I have information about one of the bandits who did it. He's even hiding in a village nearby. God's blood. It's true the darkest shade is beneath the candlestick. Who is he? I only know that they call him Riki, and he's from here in Talmberg. That's it? You wouldn't believe how much effort it took me to find that out. But I think it's enough to go on. Well, what if he's dead too? I think we'd already know if he was. These fellows are not given to subtlety. Hmm. True enough. We haven't found any more mutilated corpses. Well, get on with it then. And when you find him, come and see me. Most likely I'll be in the encampment by Merhoyed. You can rely on me, sir. Farewell. And be careful, Henry. I know what that rabble did to you. But remember with whom you're dealing. Don't start any foolhardiness on your own. Understood? I'll try not to, sir. Okay. 
I noticed there's a few kind of visual lockups there. I'm not sure if that's how the actual gameplay is going to be and whether I need to turn anything down uh, graphics wise. But uh, it could be because it's a kind of a preset routine and um, that's what's actually going a bit slow. Okay. So here I am on my horse. Wow, first person horse riding. This is uh, interesting. Assuming I'm supposed to go this way. Um, with daylight savings, do I get to play an extra hour? That's the only reason I'm streaming, really. I, um, I, I know my kids are going to wake up an hour earlier. Uh, I guess this is the end of the playable zone right now. That's funny. They had a similar thing in the alpha. Um, I don't know how... Oops, how big the map is with the beta. So my, my kids will wake me up an hour earlier, but... It doesn't really make that much difference to me. Uh, where's that shield gone? Oh, is that? Is that him? So I pressed E to talk. Uh, and I'm this the you select here by rolling the mouse uh, mouse wheel. I want to learn how to sword fight, so I'm gonna click I'd like some training in handling a sword. That's commendable, but my services aren't for free. For five groschen I'll teach you the basics. What do you say? Uh, I don't know if I have five Goshrin or whatever he said. But Sounds good. When do we start? Right away, if you like. Take this wooden sword and come to the arena with me. Okay. That oh. thing you have in your hand is a sword. I'm a cumin and I want to kill you. Okay. Try walking around a bit. Movement around the battleground is just as important as being able to swing. Oh my god. Okay, so A and D moves me left and right. Now let's try the basics. And if I move Aim for my head and attack. When I move my mouse up, it moves it it makes the top of that star red. And then I do a slashing attack with the left mouse button. That's it. Try attacking from various angles. You can stab and chop. Okay. That's right. You're not totally useless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Fine, that's enough. Now, I'll attack and you try blocking. Hold the sword in front of you and learn to fend off various thrusts. I'll go slow for now. Q to block. Keep holding the block up. Ouch. Wow, this is way more involved than any first-person combat. That's enough. Notice how exhausting it is holding the sword above your head. Now I'll show you how a master blocks. Attack! Attack, okay. <laughs> see, oh. you wait for the strike and only fend it off when you see exactly where it's going. Attack! Uh, oh, I really suck at this. Now you try it. Watch my backswing. As soon as I start to come down, block. Try to time your block. Okay. Oop. Okay. My camera got away from me there. Like each time you see the red move on the star, that's me moving the mouse to try to fend off his um, sword. This is totally involved uh, combat. So what that star actually is, it appears, is that it's my uh, viewpoint. 
So if I move my view away from him, probably to run away or something like that, like you would with a general attacker, um, that's what keeps happening to me. And um, <laughs> okay, I uh, so yeah, I just have to move the mouse a little bit less than I have been doing to remain kind of on him and then select my blocks. It does kind of move the sword a little bit for you, but then you have to actually act at the right time. Oops. There we go, that was me again. Ouch. <laughs> Can I actually attack him or not? Probably not. Oh, we have an audience. Okay. When you manage to fend off the sword, you can lunge straight away. Try it. Uh, you can track immediately after a successful parry. Okay. Gosh, I'm doing that a lot, aren't I? kind of suck at this. Okay, I need to block and then attack. Why is it not doing it? Ouch. Is my mouse broken? I don't think it is. Okay. It's just me sucking. Yeah, every time I get close to him, it goes into that kind of thing where you push off the opponent. And I'm not doing a very good job of doing anything else, kind of. That thing. That's what I don't want to keep doing. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Okay. Ouch. Pressing Q, I'm blocking him, and then I should be able to press the left, and it's not doing it. Now I'll show you a trick or two. You can lead an opponent by the nose. Okay. I guess it just wanted me to do. Strikes, and when he least expects it, you attack out of rhythm. It Defend for a yourself. while. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. Oh, I see. They keep disabling now things. You if you link together a series of strikes, then you can attack unexpectedly. A strike like that is almost impossible to fend off. Okay. Ah, they had disabled it. Okay. Ouch, blood. kind of annoying that they've disabled certain fighting actions. I feel like I might do better at a tutorial if I could just kind of figure things out. Which, you know, I guess was actually an option that they gave me, wasn't it? They gave me an option to fight someone or learn how to fight someone. And I selected to learn. And that's what they're doing. Doesn't seem to be finishing the blows though. Okay. 
Alright, let's move on. Come on, let me move on, please. Oh, I actually have to do their combos. Okay. Alright then, so up and right and lower left. Okay. Are we done? all you want, but it's best to evade the strongest blows. Remember, the blow that misses you hurts the least. I'll attack and you evade. You mustn't move too soon. I'll see you. If you move too late, you'll get hit. Try it. Okay. okay got it. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Oops, got hit. Nice. There's a lot to this. stamina, do I? I think he's kneeing me in the face. Okay. I'm done. Let me go. took it easy on you. Now I'm going to let you have it. Try everything I taught you. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah! Ouch. 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 <laughs> okay. I'm sincerely getting my ass kicked. If you don't actually block, they can seriously, obviously, completely kick your ass. Oh, oh he, he sidestepped. Ouch. Oh, I can't actually see or do anything. It's nice to have everything actually unlocked. But it shows me how much I'm actually screwing up. Oof. Ouch. Ouch. Again. Ouch. Again. Oof. Okay. I think I'm done. I would rather probably fight a, far a farmer. going to let him kick my ass. Come on. Seems like your strikes just don't connect when you're out of stamina. Yeah, I... Ha when I've glanced down, it's always blue. So, maybe. Oof. I'll let him get this round, and then let's see here. Yeah, you're right. When I actually have yellow in the bar there, I'm connecting with him. Yeah, and when it's blue, I'm kind of screwed. Okay. I'm, uh...
Okay. So we'll get, get him! Go on! Get him! <laughs> so I get the idea. I guess these two are gonna go fight now. Try to dismount. Uh, can I talk to you or not? Yes, I can. Uh, Riki. Listen, I'm looking for a fellow they call Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinnick? He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I might find him? I don't know. Try at his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. Uh, why do they call Hinnick Riki, anyway? He's a Tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll see for yourself. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough, but not every courier is given that name. Well, I'd say it might have something to do with his reputation, too. You know this Hinnick. Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Much of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? Tanners have never been the most sought-after companions. And what's more, he keeps the company of all kinds of knaves. In short, he doesn't have the best reputation. Hmm. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory and retired for thieving. And in Neuhoff, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. A bit more than high spirits, huh? Just so. We're all honest folk here and we've no use for the likes of him. I don't know, that just sounds like, uh... Hearsay to me. Don't tell me no one at all talks to him. Well, he's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Okay. Adela. Oh, I have two swords now. On my... Oh, three. There we go. Figuring this out. Where's the bathhouse? Okay, no audio for this so far then. Uh, buy a fish pond and a big white tent. Where does the tanner live? I guess these are default timings. Okay, so... Ah, maybe this is the wench. I think I have to wait for her to finish this animation. Because you see the shield is moving when she moves, so... Uh, re I heard you've been seeing Hinnick the Tanner. So what? Come to preach to me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner? That I seduce decent men, huh? <clears throat> God, no. Nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinnick, so I came to ask you about him. Aye, I've seen him often enough. But I don't know what I could tell you about him. When did you see him last? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening. Drunk. That was unusual? I never saw him drink much. 
He always came here sober. So he was acting strange that evening. He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept on prattling and wasn't interested in... Well, you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Um, hard to say. He went on about some Jacob who died. Then he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye, and then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of money hidden at home behind the house. Uh-huh. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Just poppycock. Did you go there for a look? No, I have no time for such things. Obviously, he made it up. Where would a layabout like that get money? Sure, I understand. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his dad's small holding in the western corner. All right. Thanks. Okay, so if you saw up at the top right, I got another objective to look for his stash of money. So let's look for shields. Because if I'm going this direction, I don't want to have any objectives this direction. I'm looking for a fellow they call Riki. Have you ever heard tell of him? <laughs> Why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinnick. Uh-huh. You wouldn't happen to know where he is. I don't know nothing. Don't you know at least where he usually goes? It's quite important. Hinnick shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick, and Harry? Okay, so you have tactics in your conversations, as you can see. Hmm. Do you at least know anyone he's friends with, or someone he goes to see? As far as I know, nobody here in the village talks to him. I heard he's seeing some bathhouse wench. Maybe. He can't get it for free, so I suppose he's got to go to the baths. Watch your tongue, peasant. I am an envoy of Sir Rotsik Kobila, and I'm conducting an investigation here. So stop hedging and tell me where your son is right now. Sir Radzig's envoy. Sorry, try that on someone else. Well, that escalated quickly. Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying <laughs> to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears in it. This time his neck is on the block. He got mixed up with some very unsavory people. I have to find him. I'm not surprised, but I still can't help you. I don't know where he is. Okay. So impress failed. Persuade failed. Look here, fellow. Your oh son dear. is in a serious scrape and I'm trying to help him. Your evasions are starting to vex me and my patience is running out. Are you threatening me? And I'm supposed to believe that you want to help Hinnick? Believe what you like. I'm concerned about Hinnick, but I don't care much what happens to you. Is that clear? Fuck it. I'm not going to take a beating on account of that good for nothing. So? There's not much <laughs> I can do for you anyway. Hinnick was here, Fantastic. but he left right away. Where did he go? You better give me something. You really do not want to waste my time. Hinnick makes some money on the side from... He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. All right. It's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. 
Don't you have any clue where his hideout might be? I really don't know nothing about that. I can tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away? I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? Eh, well, I don't really know. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him money. Of course, it could have been for meat. All right. I'll ask at the inn, then. Oh, start digging. No shovel. Huh. That was the location that he's supposed to have buried all of his money. Where the hell can I find a shovel? Soundtrack reminds me of uh, Star Trek. There's an axe. Shovel. So, E? Okay. I thought it was E to take things. Yeah, it should be E to take something. Why isn't that working? Oh, okay. Hold E. I wasn't close enough. Alright. It's good to know. It's gone. Okay. Super. That looks so pretty. With the god rays and everything. Whoa. Excuse you. Why is that music just started? That. Is he a bandit or something? My inventory weapons are uh, used. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no way. Okay, it does not pause when you are in, in your inventory. Oh, I have to press 1, don't I? Bet that's what it is. Yep. So I have to press 1. And there we go. So I have my sword out now. 
If I press one again, then it's back and it's it's resheathed. Excellent. So now at least I know how to defend myself if another bandit decides to mess with me again. Honestly, like in some... Some of this, like how the hell would you even tell that this isn't a real wooded area. Oh, it's this! What is that for? Um... So that's the one that I'm failing at. So these are still my main quests. Um, fellow who goes by the name of Riki, still looking for him. As you can see, I haven't really explored a lot yet. He, he has an axe, so it's not like he's defenseless. But I want to see what happens if you attack a random person. What the f Somebody help! Here! Don't let him get away! Oh crap. <laughs> The music changed. That guy went running off. So is there any actual consequence? What do you think of me? She's just told me to put my weapon away, I think. He ran off this way, right? What are you doing with that weapon, Put it away, or I'll go and get a guard. Wow. What a disgrace. Who could Do have taken something. it? My God! Damn it! Over there! Alarm! For God's sake, there! Over there! Do something! My God! Over there! Who is this? There's a guy running the opposite way. For God's sake, there! Over there! Is this a, is this a guard? It is. For God's sake, there! Over there! Do something! My God! Over there! Oh my God! Okay, we won't put up with violent brutes here, is that clear? Obviously there's no voice and motion capture or whatever that they are, they are doing done for this specific scenario. So you've just got kind of placeholder camera positions and stuff right now.
So did that first person I hit, that first person I hit... Oh no, there's more! Oh wow! Okay, I see what happens now when you attack someone randomly. Um, Okay, so th these guys, it's a different tr trigger, but he's going to kill me while I'm talking to these ones. Okay, that seems like an issue they need to sort out. Come on, let me skip this, please. Okay, there we go. Come on, let me skip it. Skip. And run away. Do, do, do. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Oh, maybe I killed her. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, okay. Where's my horse? Oh, I have like a prison icon up at the top now. Did I just die from bleeding out? I think I bled out. I have holes in the armpits. He's sleeping like that? Can I just steal his stuff? I'll wake him up. Can I wake him up? He won't wake up, he just mumbles at me. Oh, there we go. Well, how ignorant is that? What the hell are you doing? Is that him pissed off at me waking him up? It is, isn't it? Okay, well, clearly I can probably get some blows in before he wakes up. Are you serious? Shit! Damn! Damn! Who the fuck were- uh, ah! So I'll just loot his body. Steal the arrows. The bastard sword. I'm not really sure what that is about. Uh, I'll take those. And his money, obviously, too, because why not? Uh, uh oh. <coughs> Wasn't me. He, I'm, I'm not a thief, no. No witnesses. Inventory was... was it I? Okay. So, let's have a look at the armor here. I can wear a hat now. Excellent. 
gauntlets, they're pretty cool. Some of them too, that's fantastic. They, they have an armor amount that I assume kind of adds to, let's see though, I really want to try a bow. That would be my secondary weapon, I guess. Do I need to... <laughs> that was my dog, um, probably having a nightmare. If you heard that in the background. Okay. So I think now I can press one for my sword. And I should be able to press two. Yes. I have a bow and arrow. She's still alive. You should draw your bow, my friend. Yeah, draw your bow. Yeah, just like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. You have your sword out. Let me run away. Don't let him get away. Are they fighting? They are, they're fighting each other. Basically, I've pissed everyone off enough now that they're all fighting each other. They killed someone. Are they coming for me now? They probably are, aren't they? They went the wrong way, though. An arrow. Interesting. I will take your arrows and your money. Excellent. Maybe I can just let them all kill each other now. Yeah. Here they come. You want to kill me, right? Yep. Oh, I'm running really slowly right now. Oh, he's just out for a jog. You see that? He, he doesn't really want to do anything to me at all. What the hell? going on? Wow. Oh, he's looking at me now, is he? No. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Food. Oh, I don't have any food. That's... Christ, what are you playing out with that weapon? Put it away before I lose my temper and call a guard. Sure, I'll put it away. I'm just an innocent farmer. You 
with that weapon. That's forbidden here. Put it away immediately, or I'll call a guard, and he'll soon teach you manners. Wasn't he a guard? I don't think he can see me. Damn it. So close. I don't think he's dead yet. He does seem to be curious about where the, uh, he is dead. Fantastic. Okay, so how the hell do I get in there? Such a pretty game. Absolutely pretty game. Anyway, um, I hope that was interesting. I, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to stream tomorrow night, but um, be sure to uh, like this video on YouTube and then uh, follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube uh, so that you can catch further videos. Uh, this is my first time streaming this in ever. Um, I did upload a video to YouTube two years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, I mostly stream space games really and uh, could possibly stream Elite Dangerous tomorrow night but I also could uh, tackle a new game. Um, I do this has kind of got me in the mood a little bit for uh, Skyrim as well, so I might actually give that a go, considering I never properly played that. But uh, anyway, thank you uh, again for those of you that watched. I did get a couple of uh, notifications of subscribers on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, thank you again to um, people for supporting the Steam, the stream. Uh, really appreciate that as well. Um, have a good night. Thanks. Bye.